and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to introduce and demonstrate a very practical, very versatile function, the IF function. This is a perfect scenario for the IF function. Here we have student score, student names and their scores. We need to supply a grade. Our grading system is a simple pass-fail. The threshold will be a score of 65. The if function is perfect for this. Let's demonstrate. Equals if in the left parentheses. Now let's bring up our function arguments dialog box. Okay, the if function, the definition is that the if function checks whether a condition is met and it returns one value if true and another value if false. So our first argument is the logical test. The logical test is any value or expression that can be evaluated to either true or false. So in this case we will say if our score, in other words cell B4, is greater than or equal to 65, then the value if true will be pass. Now what we do for text values is we put the text inside quotation marks. So quotation mark pass quotation mark. There's our value if true. Our value of false will be fail. Quotation mark fail quotation mark. Okay, click OK and there we have it. Now it's a simple matter of just double clicking to copy this all the way down. Should we discover that there was a mistake, that this was backwards, it should have been 93 rather than 39, then we'll see that we have a result of pass. Okay, if we want more nuanced grading, we can still use the if function. Notice that right here we have a rather more complex, highly nuanced grading system. Let's once again take a look at the function argument arguments dialog box. Our logical test is saying take the score in cell B4 and if it's greater than or equal to 90 the value of true is excellent and once again notice the placement of the text inside the quotation marks. The value if false we are using multiple if functions so we're nesting multiple if functions inside our main if function. We can nest up to seven different if functions in our formula. Let's take a look over here. Let's copy this down and notice with our nuanced grading we now have fair, we have very good, we have excellent, we have needs improvement. Let's take a look over here at this needs improvement. The logical test is the score. If it's greater than 90 the value of true is return excellent. The value of false are all these multiple if functions that are nested inside. So if the grade is greater than or equal to 85 return very good. If it's greater than or equal to 75 return good. Greater than or equal to 65 fair and if not in other words if it fails then needs improvement. Alright another scenario that's perfect for the if function is in applying shipping charges. We've used the if function over here. In our shipping table we have three possibilities. If the order is greater than $200, in other words the subtotal of the merchandise, if it's greater than $200 there'll be no charge for shipping. It'll be free. If it's greater than $100 then it's an 8% charge. If it's less than $100 a 10% charge. Well let's look at a very simple application over here. What we're saying, our logical test, is that if our subtotal is greater than or equal to $200, the value of true is zero. If not, in other words, it fails, then take shipping times 10%. Now, let's use the more complex shipping charge with the if function. This time we'll use all three of our variables. So let's go inside the function arguments box. Is our subtotal, if it is greater than 200, no charge on shipping. And once again, notice here in the false that we have nested uh, an if function. So we're saying if false, then take the value of the merchandise and if it's greater than or equal to $100, the shipping charge is 8%. If it's not, the shipping charge is 10%. Okay, for our last demonstration of the if function, let's look at how we can prevent these ugly errors. Don't you hate these? The divide by zero. Let's see what happened. 
we have a blank cell. So in attempting to take our sales divided by the quota, in this particular case, we don't have a value entered in for our quota. So we can change that. Look at the smart tag over here. If we want to find more information about the divide by zero, we can do that. Or if we want to just edit it in the formula bar, we can go ahead and do that. Let's move up here to the formula bar and supply our if function. We already have equal, so we'll type in if and open our left parentheses. And what we'll do is we'll say that if the quota is equal to zero, in other words, if there's no value in there, then the value if true will be just a blank entry. Now, we have to include the blank entry inside the quotation mark. So quotation mark, space bar, quotation mark comma then we perform the calculation if it if it is failed so let's finish this off with our left par our right parentheses control enter and there we go now we have our if function so the value of true in other words if there is no entry in the quota then just put a space okay there you have learned how to apply the practical and versatile if function we'll see you in the next tips and time savers